If you've been wanting to do a single leg Romanian deadlift or an RDL, but your balance and stability, they're not quite just there yet, keep watching this video. I'm gonna break down how to do a supported single leg RDL, the benefits, the main muscles trained, and how to progress. I'm Dr. Elise Brown. I'm a scientist who studies how exercise helps to prevent and slow the progression of diabetes. The supported single leg RDL is a variation of the traditional RDL. A single leg RDL that's not supported by a bench, a rack, or an other stable structure requires balancing on one foot as the hips flex and extend while holding a weight like a dumbbell or a kettlebell. But what if your balance isn't quite there yet? That's where the supported single leg RDL comes in. Instead of balancing on one leg entirely, you can support your non-working leg by resting your knee on a bench beside you. This is going to add more stability, which is going to allow you to focus more on your technique and moving the weight safely. Once you're ready to move past the knee support, you can then progress to another type of support, like grabbing on with your hand to a stable rack at the gym, or if you're at home, grabbing onto a stable structure like a countertop, a table, or in my case, the handrail at the top of my stairs. A supported single leg RDL has many benefits. One of them is that it can help improve your mechanics in isolating hip extension, and this may carry over to other more complex versions of the deadlift. While the movement of hip flexion and hip extension is often referred to in the fitness arena as hip hinge, I don't like to use that term because the hip is not a hinge joint, it's a ball and socket joint. I think it's absolutely fine to use that term as a coaching cue, hip hinge, if it gets your client to do what you're trying to get them to do. But for accuracy and hopefully to reduce confusion, I'm going to stick with hip extension and hip flexion. If you're finding the information in this video useful, please hit like and subscribe. Another benefit of this exercise is that it helps to increase balance and stability. Think of the supported version of the single leg RDL as a stepping stone to eventually be able to do a single leg RDL without any type of support. The supported version is going to help you develop the necessary balance and stability that's needed for the unsupported version. Since this is a unilateral movement, meaning we're training one limb at a time independently rather than training both limbs at the same time like you would in a conventional RDL, this is going to help to reduce any muscle imbalances from one side to the other and that helps to reduce injury risk. Another benefit is that you can typically use heavier weights, which helps to increase strength even more because you've got added stability of that bench. 